Hello there, and welcome to today's ride. Over the last few years and months or so, I have been feeling a little bit odd, and I think I've narrowed it down to lacking a couple of essential elements vital for life. Now, one of the things that you probably don't know about me is that I went to university in France where I studied filmmaking. So I suppose technically that makes me a pretentious European filmmaker. And as such, one of my favorite directors is a French director called Luc Besson, who's probably best known for his film, The Fifth Element, which is kind of like a very camp diehard in space. And in that film, he talks about the importance of the four regular elements, and that's fire, air, earth, and water. And the fifth element is that rather annoying actress whose name I can't really remember. And today, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of two of those elements, air and water. Here's something scary for you. If you think about it, you've only got about three minutes left to live. And the way you reset that clock is by breathing. Now, I've been a big fan of breathing over the last few years or so, but I don't think I've still quite got the hang of it yet. If you've been watching these vlogs for any length of time, you'll know that from time to time, when I do piece to cameras on the bike, I will sometimes struggle for breath. And now that could be argued that uh, that could be due to a lack of fitness. And yeah, there's probably an element of that in there somewhere. But I think also there's something else going on, and that's this carbon dioxide intolerance that I've had a bee in my cycling cap about for a little while now and essentially what's happening is that yeah I'm, I'm hyperventilating so uh, even though I have plenty of oxygen in my lungs I'll still feel the need to take another breath because I just can't uh, have the carbon dioxide build up and I need to kind of work on that and the way that I do that is to try and breathe through my nose as much as I possibly can when I'm on the bike. Unfortunately for me, there's something else going on there which causes my nose to run considerably when I'm actually cycling. And that, as you can imagine, makes breathing through my nose somewhat difficult. It's a bit like being waterboarded, only with snot. The other thing that I've noticed when I'm cycling, or indeed doing anything at all, is that I tend to breathe from my chest when I should really be breathing from a bit lower down in my diaphragm. And again, I've been really trying to do that when I'm on the bike, focusing on the exhaling rather than the inhaling. And when I can think about it, it does actually have a lot of uh, benefit for me and, uh, and I can kind of breathe a little bit easier, but it's, it's just thinking about it and actually doing it that's the problem. The other element that I'm lacking, of course, is water. Now, I am notoriously bad for not hydrating myself either on or off the bike. And my other half is constantly telling me to drink more water. So I've decided to kind of take her advice. And, and that's mainly because, like I say, over the last few years and months, I've noticed something rather odd going on. The first one is that I've got some very, very dry skin patches on my wrists. 
and the other thing is that uh, I've got some really weird things going on with my eyes basically I have a kind of burning sensation um, quite often and um, it's very very uncomfortable very very annoying I initially put it down to uh, just staring at computer screens for too long but the more I think about it the more it is down to just lack of water and dehydration over the last week or so I've been trying a bit of an experiment when I'm at home during the day I've got a litre water bottle that I fill with plain regular old tap water and every 15-20 minutes or so I'll take a, a small sip now from time to time uh, that small sip actually becomes quite a large drink and I'll drink probably a quarter of the bottle so I'm very very surprised about that but the other thing that I'm really surprised about is the benefits that I think I'm getting first of all those dry patches on my wrists don't seem to be anywhere near as bad uh, before I was putting hand cream on them five or six times a day and at the moment I'm probably doing it once maybe twice a day and secondly that kind of burning eye sensation has almost stopped I'm starting to get a little bit tired in the evenings and that was also another sign of these eyes they would make me very very tired um, but so far I feel a lot more awake and a lot more with it so definitely drinking water is to be recommended now I have to admit that I was a little bit cynical to begin with that just doing something as simple as drinking more water can have such a beneficial impact on everyday life and just general well-being and now I think I'm a yeah kind of born again hydrationist drinker of water so I'm going to continue doing that throughout the day as often as I possibly can uh, obviously sometimes it might not be very practical but yeah um, just seems nice and easy water's cheap and plentiful from the tap I've got this water bottle yeah just drink from it nice little sip every 15-20 minutes you feel a whole lot better and obviously as you get older your body kind of dries out a bit quicker so anything you can do to kind of replenish that hydration can only be a good thing and of course all of those benefits would be completely undone if I didn't then carry that hydration regime over to when I'm on the bike and you may have noticed that today I've also got a water bottle on the bike and just for information I've actually got some hydration and uh, uh, some electrolyte product in there but normally on a day like today when it's cold and overcast and on such a short ride I'm only out for about 20 kilometers today I wouldn't bother taking any liquids with me but uh, again all I'm doing is just taking a sip every 20 minutes or so and it, it just seems to make me feel much much better so that's a mistake I've been making for years and years nearly home now very short ride today at only 17 kilometers but it's incredibly cold so I'm looking forward to having my obligatory cup of tea when I get in and for the record regular kind of British kind of PG tips tea is actually dehydrating so I might just treat myself to something like a Rubios which is actually hydrating and warming at the same time if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling 
please click on the video coming up in the end screen for more but in the meantime thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one